potential for yeah. this C9 team. You Makes just sense. don't have the movement. Lissandra gets locked in, as we thought, on the side of Envy. So a few things gone back to for teams here for comfort. But we did Actually, really key that the gank arrived early to give Sarah some breathing room in that lane. But here's a gank. Oh, the flash in. The claw is not respected, as it shouldn't have been that time. And before five, pre six. I'm sorry, pre six. They stand behind. I also think it was very greedy up top of Impact to go for that, but now, here's Proxen. Oh, level six. Nice flash away from the Deadly Flourish. Can Smoothie get out of this? The exhaust keeps him in range, and it will be the kill. Auto over to Proxen. So they do get something out of waiting here in the bot lane. And Jensen's pressuring his Up in the top lane, three, potentially four people. If they don't even get a kill, they could get the turret. Yeah, oh. Smoothie's on his way as well. Videos, what a beast. Oh. Now with the team, unleashed power from Jensen is going to drop Seraph. He's just been all alone by himself in the top lane. You can slow it down. Yep. Okay. Slow it down. It's also an interesting strategy. Whoa. Hold on, Ninja. A little ahead of himself. There'll be some extra damage here for Steve. Ooh, alley -oop. Wow. Flashes over the wall. Sneaky going hard on this one. He's going to have to dance it out with Proxen Impact. now. He leads Impact into the fight. A few more hits. Sneaky stands on the barrel knowing it's just going to allow him to stay in range and attack. He doesn't have to move. Understood the fight. Really become a late king. This, this is exactly what you were talking about, Riv. Arrow down mid. Will it happen? Jensen's on a pink ward. And boom, boom. There it boom. is. The fog of boom. war attack. It is a dangerous <laughs> thing to be had. And Ninja realizes this once again. Boom, boom. Attack. I mean, <laughs> this can get. Oh, bullseye. <laughs> I was yeah. wondering was wondering when the, the bing the bang uh bing bang boom came in. <laughs> there it is. I was thinking of boom boom you said last yeah. time. Hey, but at it's least the you one self fault this time. That's true. It's no longer a one two punch. There's the flake. Envy is gonna buy that. They don't exactly nope. want to take the fight right now. Oh Impact has frozen mallet right now, and Seraph has no flash. If he can get that barrel. This might actually be a kill. Ooh. Neganar's not gonna be there. Could get the speed to go around. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's I make it sound like it could get out. It's intense, but impact just makes it look so clean. You gotta have that target champions only button in. Oh, <laughs> oh. some don't. Oh, scattered right back. Unleashed power has not come out from Jensen, and I don't think he's gonna be able to. His Medios is getting that treatment now from Envy. He unleashes right back onto Hakuo. Looks to get the death sentence on the fight. The, the dark passage to the light saves Jensen as they double kill down onto Lod. He's got. Oh man, this is just. This is brutal for Seraph. Oh! Goombud. He did get Goombud in perfect. I was going to say the same thing. If Proxen wants to go in, you just lost your top laner. The guy that you want to oh. take a lot of damage. And the hook. And he's not dealing damage. So why take the fight with the rest of your team? Vlad could be the next going down. Meteos doesn't have the damage just yet. Because he's building tanky once again, and they're going to be onto that mid lane turret. Cloud9 have turned the tables. Head on the Cinder, he's hit critical mass really early. That no matter who he targets at this point, Proxen, Ninja, Lod, anybody, they're going to go down and Lod! Be safe. Haku, oh, he's oh, not going to be up. Thunderlords comes down in the end to take down Lod. A oh. double kill going over to Ninja. Where did this Cinder come from for Jensen? Oh, he needs a lot of help. <laughs> well, you either do something with one person or you do it with the entire team. And Envy says, we might need the entire team to do this. There are two in the top lane, though, that could help stop this Baron. Yeah, this is actually quite risky for C9. Double teleport exists for Envy. If they can get a ward that they could teleport on. But C9 is trying to burst this down quickly. One more shot. Trying to aim for Meteos here? Or oh, possibly Baron. He's looking for the Baron. Him. Woo! That was close. I was real close. Smite didn't even go off for Medios. Yeah, so delayed yeah. at this point that these arrows are going to hit through for a very long time. Toxin. Oh, Scatter the Weak just in range. Something that many players may not be familiar with. The amount of the group together. Cloud9 forces that once again in the top lane. Two Infernal Drakes and arrow onto Ninja. Beautiful. Nar ultimate from Impact. And you can almost hear the communication from Cloud9 from call to call and their priority targets. Jensen. Oh, beautiful stun from the ult. Almost no follow-up. A lot was wasted in the last one. They may have said, hold on, we can still get the inhibitor. That's yeah, not just trying to teleport him from behind. That's the hit. You heard the Yomu's ninja get slowed down. The vision is there, and he takes a volley. He gets the claw in and throws down Glacial Tomb on himself. Cloud9 is trying to separate themselves from the fight as Ninja gives himself time to assess it. And Sonya's and Meteos is now the focus. Dark passage to the light. And will Curtain Call close the fight for Envy? The damage to follow up is there from Seraph, but is there more for the Fade Chase? 
Jensen is there. The volley is in. Proxen is looking for that angled He's cutoff. Got that but a straight line is the fastest oh, we got way to that objective, and they try to take it. Jensen's forced to turn around, knowing that fight may come. But outside their nexus, really, the hook onto Proxen. That's just a bit of damage traded in. Wait out the Nar bar. Hakuo, no reason to get too close, but he does take a bit of damage. He's going to be a focus, and he's going to go down. It only took a few more seconds for Impact's bar to go away, and this could have been the returning result. But they trade one for one in the end, and Cloud9's forced to use ultimates to get back as well. And Inhibitor did respawn, though, and as long as Envy can get back to on the blue trinkets, so that's their spacing. But Hakuo gets hit. We saw this in game one. Hakuo is sometimes an initiation. He gets deleted immediately by the return fire coming in from Jensen. Impact in a bad spot. Jensen is Dust sneaky. Dust already gone the off. Wall. They can slow over Jensen on this side as well. Seraph's healing back as well to help onto Lod, and everybody kind of slows down this fight. The ultimate. There's another blue trinket out. Still got about 15 seconds. They have no great way of checking. What happens if you keep the ultimate? Oh, he used the body slam, so nope. Yep. Yeah, they, they just didn't have the trinket cooldown timers. There were two minutes. They're starting to stack up on that armor pen, like we said. Mm -hmm. Bang Plank would get bigger. There level you go. 16, third level, the Ninja. ultimate. Ninja Zanya's out the unleashed power, but also gets the shield from Hakuo, which leaves him in the front to just be picked off. That's something C9 has been working on the whole time. Then they get the priority tar target in Seraph. The DPS is falling like flies for Envy as Cloud9 bite back after game one. They take down the Nexus and will be going to game three at one to one. And we have ourselves a series. Guess what? Now they play best of three. Back to the break <laughs> of the season for these guys. But 14 kills for Jensen, enabled by the rest of his team, though. So while he did have some very nice scouting.